You get a week out from the NRL Grand Final. Just four teams remaining and emotion really comes into play. For fans and players alike, for little kids, for grandmas and whole families who normally know how to behave themselves. Some people will tell you, straight faced, that it's just a game. Ha, <laughs> exactly. What would they know? What do they care? It's why wise men like Bellamy and Bennett are paid fortunes to teach our finest footballers the art of controlling their emotions instead of their emotions controlling them. Friday, from six o'clock, live on Fox League, the first of the grand final qualifiers. The South Sydney Rabbitohs and the Manly Warringah Seagulls. There's something almost spiritual about these Rabbitohs. The gifted Cody Walker, Dane Gagai, and the halfback, Adam Reynolds. You have to have grey hair and a few teeth missing to remember any player to have scored anywhere near as many points for the club. Wally grew up around the corner from Redfern Oval. After this season, he moves to the Broncos. Yep, and won't the old joint erupt when he races into the clear. Manly has Jake Trebojevic, Kieran Foran and DCE. This kid who should have gone to the Olympics, Saab and Tommy Turbo, of course. They also have coach Des Hasler. Des is going to get his hair cut if they win. No, just joking. Saturday at 2.30. That's right, 2.30 in the Arvo. It's the second grand final qualifier. Live, the Melbourne Storm and the Penrith Panthers. Last year's grand finalists and pretty much the two hottest sides all season long, facing off a week earlier than predicted. What a matchup! Pappenhausen, Addo Carr, Munster, and Harry Grant. Fisher Harris, Isaiah Yo, Kickow, and the masterful Nathan Cleary. Nathan Cleary! He is a master! The halfback made his debut against Melbourne. Round 13, 2016, at just 18. Incredible, isn't it? How he now runs everything at age 23. And within minutes of watching, you can tell Nathan Cleary's learned that big lesson. The art of controlling his emotions instead of them controlling him. He too learned it from his coach. The difference being, his coach is also his dad. And both will be there, front and centre this weekend, to let you know rugby league, at this time of the year anyway, is definitely not just a game.